Hello, welcome back to another reaction review video with me, Nina Schofield, singer-songwriter, vocal coach and session musician. So excited to be back watching Morissette. I feel like she's a friend now, you know, <laughs> a vocal friend because I watch her so often. Uh, and uh, of course I was so lucky to meet and interview her. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her a friend. Uh, so <laughs> Mori is just a fantastic vocalist. I'm a big fan of hers, uh, all jokes aside. And I recently got recommended this version of Bohemian Rhapsody by one of my patrons. And I thought we've got to check this out because Bohemian Rhapsody, of course, that huge, huge queen song is, just one of those ones where if you don't get the vocal right, that's gonna fall apart. So we're gonna watch it and see. Obviously it's not gonna fall apart. This is Maury we're talking about. She's got such an incredible control and vocal presence and just everything you need for a song like this. Uh, so let's see what occurs in this performance. Are you ready? Here we go. Woo, back in vocals. Lovely harmonies. Nice. Thanks, Mori. Those low vocals. So there already. She did that little vocal phrase, so that octave jump straight off the bat, gorgeous. So that was really nice because we had the movement into the different dynamic parts of her vocals. So she really is great at kind of moving like a wave in and out of her more forte to mezzo forte. She just pushes it and then she brings it back. I really like that about Maury's vocal. And then a touch of her vibrato, lovely. So listen to that phrase and the word dead especially. That's the pullback. The vocal growls. Whoa, that note was amazing. <laughs> Even her vocal expression um, on her face just sums it up you know so much kind of drama within her performance already she's capturing the essence of the song which I like telling the story yeah there's a difference between just standing on stage and singing a song and stepping into the song and telling the story again one of Maury's specialities I think is doing the latter stepping into it <laughs> on set with the growl Okay, a couple of things going on, sorry to keep stopping it, but she's really good at choosing where she places her vibrato. So we had those nice smooth notes without, and then the next phrase, suddenly we had the vibrato. Um, and then just kind of swooping up to that C there. So just listen to that whole section again, because that was a gorgeous. Smooth, no vibrato. Vibrato. <laughs> Gorgeous, her phrasing. Look at that intention in her eyes. Too late, my time has come since 
spying there was a breath at the end of the word so just listen to that because that's great phrasing just about to get um truth that's a nice phrase let's just hear that again yes nice with the back of both lists again wise to <laughs> continually up the melody <laughs> it's quite difficult that was impressive <laughs> okay here comes the super fun bit right the onset Sharp and G with these phrases. Oh, but is. Easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? Yes. Isn't it interesting having the more operatic side of her vocal coming through here as well? I'm really enjoying that. above where we kind of start the song out this is why you need that that vocal that kind of a vocal to go up to this C <laughs> yeah let's hear it again think Mori could be a really good rock band front woman as well I'd love to hear her do some super rocky like heavy distorted guitar behind her type songs who's with me on that whoa the squid bride <laughs> So up to that F, just belting that out. Look at her feeling this. Vocal control. No bend on that phrase ending. The swoop up there. No. This is where the emotion is important.
the minute a song begins to the millisecond of its ending, she is on. So, so good. Oh, it says in the title of this, Morissette musical journey, and that song is a musical journey, isn't it? You have to go through so many different sections. Your placement in all of those sections is completely different. Certainly with Morissette, you know, she, she went into each of those sections. I could see the kind of switch in her mindset towards them. And I find that, you know, is such a marker of a true professional vocalist and performer. She is just so good at taking on vocal challenges. Ah, that was great. It's refreshed me. I feel vocally refreshed listening to Mori. And yeah, thank you for that request over on Patreon. If you would like to be part of my Patreon family, you can find me over at patreon.com forward slash Nina Schofield. And I give lots of exclusive content there. As I say, in early access to videos like this and I do an exclusive reaction once a month. Uh, there's just different things for different tiers. So do go ahead and check that out. Uh, it helps support the channel as well. And you can find me on wizio.com forward slash Nina Schofield where I help you with your vocals, which is super fun. And I will look forward to seeing you on another video very, very soon. Let me know your Mori requests in the comments box down below and I'll see you on another video very soon, as I say. Okay, love you, bye.